Okay, so something happened. You're pretending to be something you're not. Maybe we all are. Pablo, look at me, Pablo. Don't be scared. I need you to know that you're not alone. I need you to know it in your own terms. The skeptic. All he sees is sewers and bums drawn to a face on TV. He doesn't see the world we've created, and until he does, I don't think he should say anything. So he's not letting me say anything, okay. Hmm. Well, if I follow this equipment, oh, oh it's unplugged anyways. Excuse me. It's important not to die. Do not be like this. What did I say? By Richard. <laughs> Why wow, is guy's full of himself? Pablo, look at me, Pablo. Don't be scared. I need you to know that you're not alone. I need you to know it in your bones. These are like suggestions or maybe even laws describing how these people are supposed to live. They're all couched in some kind of mythology centered around this man named Richard. The original six were drawn to Richard's voice. He listened. That other place, the place we were never really part of, it belongs to them. It's always belonged to them. In their world, we are the humiliated, the scavengers, the oppressed. But here, Was there here we uh. so much more. See, are okay. So, no, oh, hold on. It's a capital G so, that guy no, is augmented. You have dressed it. This guy's augmented. Keep it I can't tell if he's augmented, he doesn't show it. Is she augmented? Their foot is, yeah. Nothing can exist without people imagining it first. Take pride in what we're doing. In the kind of community we're building together. Our focus, our concentration. Jen told me what happened. You lost all our money trying to buy those fake permits. He said you were ashamed. That you could no longer face me after being taken in by those horrible scam artists. But you have no reason to be ashamed. You're so much better than the rest of the world. You are vulnerable and gullible. Yes, but I love you. For it. Anika Chandler. There has to be s s something else. I got uh, more posters. More posters. Okay, Richard and Lombario's exp Explorations of the Mine. Let's 
Let's see what it says now. I'm finding, I'm, fi I'm starting to understand Viznik's fascination with Richard. The man hides behind the, sh hides behind the screen, dictating and watching over everyone. He's trying to create some kind of pacifist utopia, but the influence he has over these people over me isn't natural. Okay. It's not something to throw in his face. Is a tree of thorns. But not even he can act upon his fixed impulse here. Deep down, he knows it's wrong. Get away from there. Well, that's where he's at. Okay. Oh, that's why it says good people don't go upstairs. All he sees is sewers and bums drawn to a face on TV. He doesn't see the world. So, am I still doing the. Hold on. According to the old to an old poster I found, Richard is a hypnotist with uh, who once performed with a man named Laborio. If I could find his former partner, maybe I'd get more insight into Richard's strange power with these people. The poster mentions a magic shop called Magia Ma Magia over on Clidney Nabrizi, which is in the Sista district. My bad, my bad guys. I'm like gassy from like the soda I drank or the food I just ate. One of those. I think both. A mixture of both. Okay, so now we can actually like move on to somewhere else. Can I quickly slide down? No, I cannot. I can only jump down. 